Hey Memorizers, Anthony Metivier here with another Magnetic Memory Monday. And this week I've got the itch to talk about how we sometimes ruin the perfectly good memories we've put in our memory palaces and worked so hard on to imagine in bright and colorful ways so that we have instant and perfect recall. I'm thinking specifically of five fatal mistakes learners make that cause them to leave some seriously important memorized words floating around in the mists of their mind. So let's work like David Letterman and go through these five fatal errors in reverse order, beginning with number five, and that's not picking a place for the memory, not putting it somewhere specific after we've memorized it, after we've gone through a number of procedures to create a memory. Once upon a time, a client in my magnetic memory coaching program said that it wasn't necessary to locate his remembered words anywhere. And I'm not one to argue with people because when it comes to memorizing words, phrases, terminology, or any longer thing that they're interested in memorizing, like poems or speeches, it's important to go with what works. In this case, my client was working on Spanish. He told me that when he wanted to remember something like that, vaca means cow, he simply needed to see a cow vacuuming. For him, it was just a concept that floated around in the inner space of his mind. A vacuuming cow just in there someplace. And if that works, great, do it. It's absolutely fine. Yet a few weeks later, I asked him, say, what's the Spanish word for cow? It took him about a minute to find it in his mind. And that's actually not too bad, but I know it can be better. I know it can be better because people who take the time to establish a location just for V words are essentially creating a groove in their mind, a place that they know where to go to look for words. It's kind of like dropping a needle on a record. You do remember records, don't you? A common objection to using this method of locating our images for memorized words is, yeah, great, but what if I can't remember that the word begins with a V? And to tell you the truth, I haven't got a hard-boiled answer to this question. But what I do know is that merely by making the effort to place the letter in an alphabetically arranged palace in your mind, like for instance a palace just for V words, your brain has paid attention to that word and done so in a very specific way. You've magnetized that word and given it a special charge so that when the time comes to find and use that word, you are much more likely to be drawn to it merely because you've gone through this step. You've put it somewhere. It's not just floating around. So even if you're remembering something on the fly, stick it somewhere. Stick it in an actual physical location that you're familiar with. Let me give you an example. When I used to take the train across Germany twice every week for my research, I always memorized the wagon and the seat number on my ticket. And I did this so that I didn't have to pull it out of my pocket every five minutes to make sure that I was standing in the right spot. And I think we've all had this experience where we're looking at the same information over and over and over again instead of just memorizing it. It's uh, neurotic. So what I did is, you know, let's say that my wagon was 23 and my seat was 92. So since 2 is tin in my memory and 3 is a dam, I always associate 2 with tin and 3 with dam uh, using the particular system I talk about in my books. And dam here is the kind that holds back water. I would see a dam in the shape of a Campbell soup can bursting at the seams to hold back a river of trains. And I'd make it like something out of a disaster movie so that the image was large, colorful, and even quite noisy. And I'd go through the same process to memorize the number of the seat that I would be sitting in. Now, even though I didn't really have to, in order to strengthen the memory, I would make sure to place it somewhere. What better place than the train platform itself, since I had to be standing there until the train came along? Merely by taking that extra bit of effort to not only create the image, but actually place it somewhere, I strengthened it, I magnetized it, I made it so much more strong so that when I wanted to recall it, I just sort of zoomed right there. Why? Because I knew where to find it. I completely eliminated any anxiety that it might be lost. And there's more on the point of anxiety when we get to the ruination point number two about how we wreck our memories. 
you can't underestimate how much anxiety plays into our inability to memorize things and it's a key concept that I'm working on and write about quite a bit so the takeaway here is that memorization is a lot like real estate it has to do with location 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 you need to put your memories somewhere if you want to train your mind to find them very very quickly and it may not be easy to exactly explain why that it works but part of it has to do with that you've gone through that process and you don't have to worry about it there's no anxiety of not knowing where you've stuck it you don't have a cow floating around in uh, in the vacuum of your mind vacuuming you have it in a specific place where letter v words words that start with the letter v happen to be so location 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 a key point so listen if, you're, if you've enjoyed this memorization tip and you want access to the next four tips for free, here's what you need to do. Just send a quick blank email to me at learnandmemorize at zoho.com and I'll subscribe you to the Magnetic Memory Mondays newsletter and you'll receive memorization tips, resources, and motivation that will improve your memory and put the power of your brain back in your own hands or maybe better put, back in your own mind. So remember, send your email address to learn and memorize at zoho.com. I really don't know how long I can make subscriptions to this high value newsletter for free. So send in your email today and get subscribed. And uh, I look forward to meeting with you again next Monday.